My favorite science story this week is about a skull. A skull that was left at the bottom of a well for 85 years. I'm gonna tell you why it was hidden and I'm gonna tell you why that skull is one of the most exciting discoveries in the history of human archeology. span So most people are familiar with the Neanderthals. They're our cousins that used to live here a long time ago and we even interbred with them and they lived on the planet at the same time as us and Homo sapiens wasn't the only species of human around. Well, we kind of know what, about Neanderthals. For one thing, we know what they look like because we have skulls to look at. There's another kind of ancient human that shared the earth with us back in the day called Denisovans, but we've never known what they look like because Denisovans were discovered from a pinky finger. A pinky finger in a cave in Siberia, in a place called Denisova. That's why they're called Denisovans. And this pinky finger had weird DNA in it. it wasn't Neanderthal, wasn't human, or it wasn't Homo sapiens. So it was this new thing that they've called Denisovans. And we found teeth and we found other fragments of Denisovans, but we've never had a skull. Denisovans were first discovered in 2010. Fast forward four years to 2014. This family comes forward with a skull in China and they say, our grandfather hid this skull in a well in 1933 and just told us about it and we've gone to get it. Now, the story is that this man worked as a laborer. He was Chinese and the Japanese had invaded China and he was basically working for the Japanese to build this bridge. And when he found this skull, as he was digging in the ground, he didn't want the Japanese to get it. So he hid it in a well, an abandoned well, and thought, I'll go back and get it later. But he just never did. And so this family comes forward with this skull. They went and got it out of the well where he said it was. They found the skull. They brought it to the scientists. And the scientists right away could tell that this thing was special. They could use radioisotopes to date that it was at least 146,000 years old. The, that eyebrow is bigger and thicker than other kinds of ancient human skulls. And the brain case is about 7% larger than our brain cases. So this thing was very special, very weird, but we didn't know how it fit into the family tree because you couldn't get DNA out of it. Well, this new study that just came out last week gets DNA out of this skull. They couldn't get it out of, the, out of the bone, but there was one tooth in place in that skull. And so they checked the dental calculus, like the, the spots that, that that ancient person missed when they were brushing their teeth, if they brushed their teeth. Um, there's little bits of DNA in dental calculus. And so that's where they went looking. Most of it was contamination, but of the bit that wasn't contamination, there was some ancient DNA. Most of that was bacterial DNA from the guck in the guy's teeth. But of the little bit that wasn't contamination and wasn't bacterial DNA, there was a little piece of DNA from the owner of that skull. And it turns out it's a Denisovan. So now we can put a face to a name. This ancient skull is a Denisovan. We finally know what they look like. Amazing. That's my favorite science story this week. I've got four others to tell you about, but the only way to find out the full five is to sign up for my newsletter. Just go to followthebatsignal.com. It is free, it is awesome. Every week, tons of great science. Uh, sometimes about Denisovans, sometimes about bats, but always good. <laughs>